What's up guys? Welcome to the home office here. It's Corona time. I'm, I'm trapped into the house. I'm sure you guys are, but I got a box right here. I want to show you guys. I'm actually dropping these off to a guy that I met through here. Uh, shout out to my boy. I'm not going to mention his name. He might not want me to mention his name, but lucky guy. He's getting this pair of shoes basically at retail. Um, and I met him through YouTube. So, you know, that's pretty cool. Never met or done any business with anybody I met on here, but I've, I've met this guy, got to know him. Really cool dude. And uh, if you're watching, man, you know who you are. So I'm going to show these shoes. Hope you don't mind. I washed my hands first, so they're completely clean. We're going to do a quick review on my buddy's, well, my pair of shoes, soon to be my buddy's pair of shoes tomorrow. So let's just take a quick peek. I already opened the box. And I don't know if you guys happened to see the other the other day on uh, Saturday, but the uh, I think it was Saturday, that Nike did the... Uh, like the shock drop where they dropped all the Jordans. They dropped a ton of Jordans all at once. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but I was able to catch that. And I posted up on my Instagram a little bit about it. But those, uh, man, that was a that was a fun little, you know, event. I was thinking I was going to get the Edison Chens. That's really what I was going for. But, you know, at the end of the day, I got these and I, I clicked the wrong size. That's all right. These are a size 10 and a half. My buddy's going to take them. And, you know, these are the Nike Zoom Jordan 1 Racer. And actually, I really like this shoe. Um, the reason that I like it, above and beyond any other Jordan 1, wow, that smell is strong. It's going to make me choke. <coughs> I might have the virus. might be in here. But it, all jokes aside, this has the Jordan 1 Zoom Air insole in the base of this shoe, which if you guys don't know or haven't tried the zoom insole, it is completely different than typical Jordan 1. If you take the, um, here's a good comparison. If you were to take the shattered backboard number three, put those on your feet versus like the uh, turbo greens or um, what other ones, the citrus. Let me grab one other pair to show you guys. You guys can, uh, I'm just gonna leave that right there. And let me grab. Okay, here, here's one more pair of Jordan 1s that we'll, we'll take a quick peek at here. So if you're wearing a pair of these, these are very comfortable. They're very flexible. The materials are very nice. I love the Jordan 1s with like the suede leather. They're a lot more flexible. They're not super stiff. Shattered Backboard 3.0 is the stiffest damn shoe ever that like when you put it on your foot and you try to walk around, it's super uncomfortable until you beat the crap out of them. Um, I don't want to have to beat the crap out of my shoes to want to wear them because a shoe like this, as soon as you put it on, it's it's nice and comfortable. And I've actually been wearing these quite a bit more lately. I mean, I, I know I'm getting old, but these are just a, a classic shoe and I really like them. My wife hates that I have two different color laces, but you know what? You can't make everybody happy. Um, let's just take a look here. The other shoe that doesn't have the laces in the way. And as you guys can see, get a close up look at this shoe. It's just a beautiful Jordan 1, you know? The cool thing about it is it's quite a bit different. It's got the clear side, which, you know, I, I've n I actually haven't seen that on any recent shoes. I've seen that in on some dunks and stuff like that. But I think these shoes are gonna pop. I do, I think the price of these is gonna go up when more people get their hands on them. As soon as this virus goes away, these things are gonna pop up. This is a summer shoe. This is a badass summer shoe. I'll tell you that right now. And I'm actually kind of second guessing selling them, but I've already made the deal. I already said that I would sell them. So I got to let them go to my boy tomorrow. Now, the cool thing is this isn't stitched in. It's like a, um, you know, I'm get, it's like an applique. It's, it's like embossed. Embossed is where the letters are raised up. Debossed would be where, where it's pressed down in. It's definitely like a, uh, a a print. It's not a hot stamp, but it's, it's some sort of like applique. It's, it's really, really cool. If you guys can see that there, beautiful, beautiful shoe. And then obviously you have the gray patent leather, which a lot of people don't like patent leather, but that's because they don't like it to have patent leather here or anywhere that's going to crease up. Now, obviously you're going to get some creases in here and in here, but that's okay. I mean, that's that's part of Jordan 1s. That's part of wearing these shoes. You got to beat the shit out of them a little bit. But again, it's just a beautiful shoe. Very, very nice. 
comes with two different laces. You got the white laces and you got the red laces. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure to share the video. Send it over to somebody that you guys know. Uh, somebody that, that might appreciate these type of videos. I did get the, um, which I'll show you guys, the green version of the uh, Supreme, um, um, the North Face Supreme collaboration. And then I also got, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. I also got a the backpack down here. So I'll show you. Here's the backpack, all right? I'm gonna show that to you guys at a later date. But for now, tuning out, just wanted to give you guys a quick look at these before I uh, let them go to my buddy.